Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Curran, and today we're going to be crocheting these adorable heart envelopes. They perfectly fit a gift card or money or a valentine, anything that you'd like to put in there. I'll post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot and supports me in creating this content for you, and you won't miss my next project. Let's get started. We'll begin by creating our cute little heart. We'll make a magic circle, and we're going to chain three chain stitches into the magic circle. So that was one two and three next we're going to place three triple crochet into the magic circle so here is one triple crochet the second triple crochet and the third triple crochet Next, we'll place three double crochet. So here's the first double crochet, second double crochet, and the third double crochet. Now we're going to create the point. So we're going to chain one and triple crochet one stitch and chain one again, which completes our point and now we're going to repeat in the opposite direction three double crochet so that was one here's the second double crochet and the third double crochet followed by three triple crochet And lastly, we're going to chain three chain stitches, so one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch into the magic circle to join those chain stitches. Now we have all the stitches in the circle to complete our heart, and we're going to pull this loose end tight to create the heart shape. So you have to tug it pretty tightly without breaking the yarn. Next, I'm going to chain one chain stitch and tie off pulling through that chain stitch to secure it. You'll want to make sure that you've tightened up that circle in the middle just so that you can't see through it anymore. And then I'm gonna tie a double knot in the two tails to secure the back side of our heart. And we'll move on to the envelope. For the envelope, we're going to chain 16 chain stitches. This is the perfect amount of stitches to frame the little heart. And so for rows 1 through 20, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 15 stitches, rows 1 through 20.
Here we are starting on the 21st row. We're going to single crochet decrease. So that's yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the next, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. We're going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches. And then we'll finish off with another single crochet decrease for a total of 13 stitches for row 21. For row 22, we're going to single crochet decrease. And then we will single crochet in the next nine stitches. And we'll finish off with another single crochet decrease for a total of 11 stitches for row 22. Row 23, we're going to single crochet decrease. Then we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches. And we'll finish off with another single crochet decrease for a total of nine stitches for row 23. For row 24, we're going to single crochet decrease. Then we'll single crochet in the next five stitches, followed by another single crochet decrease for a total of seven stitches for row 24. For row 25, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next three stitches followed by a single crochet decrease for a total of five stitches for row 25. Row 26, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch, just one single crochet, and then a single crochet decrease for a total of three stitches for row 26. For row 27, we're going to single crochet decrease and then place one single crochet in the next stitch for a total of two stitches for row 27. For row 28, there's only two stitches left, so we're going to single crochet decrease one time for a total of one stitch on row 28. And that is it for the main base of our envelope. We're going to cut the yarn and pull through that last stitch to secure it. To shape our envelope, we're going to lay it flat and fold the bottom corners up to the top of the 20th row, so where it's squared off just right before we started decreasing. And I'm going to go ahead and weave these two ends in before we start stitching the sides up just to get them out of our way. Does anyone else find it really relaxing to watch someone weave in their ends? I love this part of any crochet tutorial. It's just so calming to me.
back to pulling the bottom up to the top of the 20th row. We're going to join it together by placing a slip knot on our hook and creating a row of single crochet around the entire thing. It's really important to make sure that the, the rows are lined up properly so that the envelope is straight when you're looking at it head on and that the rows are not slightly curling to one direction or the other. So we'll start in the bottom right hand corner. We will place the hook through both sides of the envelope with that slip knot on the hook and single crochet. And we'll just continue onward, single crocheting through both sides of the envelope until we get to the end of the double sided piece. So here we are on the last stitch of the double sided piece and you can see how that nicely attaches the ends. We're going to single crochet around the top flap of the envelope just one side with single crochet. So we'll just move directly into that next stitch with a single crochet and go all the way up and down until we meet the other side where it will be two pieces together. Here we are on the last stitch of the single side and we'll just go through both sides of the next stitch and continue on till the end. After our last stitch, we're going to chain one and tie off with a short tail and weave in those ends. So now we have our cute little envelope base ready to stitch on our adorable heart. And we just want to make sure the heart is centered. We'll pull through that shorter tail first and just let it stay on the inside for now. And then we'll use the longer tail to stitch on the heart going through the outside stitches all the way around.
After I've got the heart secured in there, I'll double knot it to that shorter tail that we pulled through earlier just to secure everything and then we'll trim off that excess. And now we have the perfect little Valentine's envelope to put goodies in. Let me know what you decide to put in yours. I want to see what creative ideas you guys come up with. I think I'm going to give mine to my niece and nephew with um, some candy or a toy or something. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much and you won't miss my next project. Also consider supporting me on Patreon through the link in the description below. It just helps me provide these patterns to you for free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.